In this video, we will be solving this system of linear equation using Gaussian elimination method. Of course, in our previous videos, we had solved this same problem using matrix inversion method, substitution method, and elimination method. All right, then next, let's try solving this same problem using Gaussian elimination method this time around. So now Gaussian elimination method is, well, a bit similar to elimination method because we try eliminating um, uh, the, the um, off diagonal elements. In order to narrow down the solution to um, determining the variables. But here we use um, augmented matrix form to solve the problem instead of um, mere elimination method. So the first thing to do is to write the augmented matrix. So this is the first, the, the, matri the matrix form of this system of linear equation is to write down the coefficients of all the variables. So the questions of x in the first, second, and third equation here is 1, 2, and 3. So you write 1, 2, and 3. Um, the second, the coefficients of x and the, the coefficients of y in equation 1, 2, and 3 is 1, minus 1, and 4. So 1 minus 1 and 4. The coefficients of um, z in equation 1, 2, and 3 is 1, 3, and minus 1. 1, 3, and minus 1. So you then augment that matrix with the um, constant values. So which is 6, 14, and 1. 6, 14, and 1. So now the next step after this step is to make the first entry in the first column a pivot to eliminate below. Now, like I told you, the off diagonal elements here, we want to try to eliminate them so that the off diagonal, this is the diagonal elements, recall, this is the diagonal elements. So the idea is to um, eliminate the of diagonal elements, this, this, and this to become zero, this, this, and this to become zero, and to ensure that the diagonal element becomes an identity. That's one, one, one in form of an identity matrix. So we then begin to perform different role operations on each of these um, matrices and the subsequent matrices so that this time around, we are talking about augmented matrices. So, so that we achieve the elimination we desire. So now the step here is to make the first entry in the first column a pivot and eliminate the below. So we want to make this the pivot. That, that is now, we, 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 want, we want to be transforming this. Mm? We want to make this a pivot. And if this is made a pivot, um, we want to use it to perform row operation on the second row so that this is the second row um, for row 2. So row 2 will now be row 2, that is the initial row 2, minus 2 times row 1. So in order to eliminate this element here, we want to multiply minus 2 to um, want to multiply 2 to row 1 and then subtract that from row 2. So if we multiply 2 with 2, that's row 1, times 2 gives us 2. So 2 minus 2, of course, will give us 0. All right. Row 1 times 2 hmm, gives us 2 again. Excuse me. Then minus 1 minus 2 we give us minus 3. Okay, so 1 times 2, we give us 2. 3 minus 2, we give us 1. So, but for this, 2 times 6 will give us 12. So, 14 minus 12, we give us 2. So, we have successfully 
using um, row one as the pivot, and that is why nothing has changed here, we have been able to eliminate the first element in the second row here, I mean the first fourth column. All right, so the next thing is we want to also eliminate the um, element here, the first column of the third row. So what we do to that is the new row three now will be um, row three. This is the row three. Row three, or we can just move on with this now. So row three minus three times row one row three so we are still using one as the pivot so nothing will change in one so now and of course you can see in this step we are performing two row operations together under this step we are using row one as the pivot for this row operation row one as the pivot for this row operation and we are performing that simultaneously so instead of doing this two augmented matrix you can just put a comma here and um, write this um, row operation and just perform it simultaneously and you don't have to write the two augmented matrix just transform um, this into this and this so just transform it into this so now the new row 3 will be um, row 3 which is this minus 3 times row 1 so 3 times row 1 is 3 times 1. That's 3 minus 3 will give you 0. So new row 3 is row 3, which is 4, minus 3 times row 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 will give us 1. So um, also uh, minus 1 minus 3 times 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. So minus 1 times minus 3 is minus 4. So in the same vein, 3 times row 1 is 3 times a, 3, 3 times 6, that's 18, and 1 minus 18 will give us minus 17. So we have successfully transformed this element and this element to a 0. We also have to, um, you know, we are left with transforming this element to zero, this element to zero, this and this also to zero. So the next step now is to make the second row pivot and we want to eliminate one, the one here, we want to eliminate it. So, <clears throat> um, okay, we want to make the second row pivots. All right, so we also want to perform two row operations simultaneously um, on this on this augmented matrix. Of course, the resulting augmented matrix. And what we want to do is to make the second row pivot a one, and we want to eliminate the above and below. We want to eliminate this, and we want to eliminate this. We want to make this a one. Mm? So in order to make this um, row a one what we do is to divide row two by three so we just simply divide row two by three so zero divided by three gives us zero minus three divided by um minus three gives us one of course we don't need a minus one we need a minus um we need we don't need a minus one we need a one so one divided by minus three will give us minus one all over three and 2 divided by minus 3 will give us minus 2 all over 3. So we have successfully made this particular element, element a 1. So next we want to eliminate this and this. So in order to eliminate this now, we perform this row operation by subtracting 1 from 2. Row 1 from row 2. So this is row 1. When you say 1 minus 1, you get 0. So when you say 1 minus minus 1 all over 3, you get 4 all over 3. So when you say 4, 6 minus minus 2 all over 3, you get 20 all over 3. So you see that again, we've been able to eliminate 
the element in the second column and first row to become zero. So what we are left to do now is to make the third, the, the element in the third column and first row and the third column and second row to make them zero, both zero, and to make the um, element in the third column and third row one. So that is what we're going, we are going to do next. All right then, so in order to make the element here zero, what we do is subtract row three from row two. Um, and if done appropriately, we should get a zero here. That's from the previous slide. We should get a zero here and the elements we've got represented um, in each of these um, various positions. So the fourth step now, just in four steps, the fourth step now is to make the third row pivot a one and eliminate the above. So you now see that um, we need to make this element, of course, this element have now changed from what it was because we have made this a, an, um, an, a zero. So now we we'll now make this a one and eliminate what we've got above it, this and this. We we'll want to eliminate them to become zero and make this one. In order to make this one, all we do is divide what we have on row 3 by minus 11 all over 3. So when you divide this by minus 11 all over 3, what you are left with is 1. You then divide this also by minus 11 all over 3 and what you've got is 49 all over 11. So again, in order to make to eliminate this and this, Let's work on eliminating this first. So what we do is to say row 1 minus 4 all over 3 times row 3. So when, perform, when we perform this row operation on this first row, what we get is we eliminate 4 all over 3 in this third column and first row to become 0. And this augmented part becomes 8 all over 11. So again, we try to eliminate the element in the third column and second row using this row operation. So that is, that gives us, um, sorry, that gives us for row two, um, we, simply add row 2 plus 1 all over 3 times row 3. So while performing this row operation on, on um, row 2, using row 3 gives us um, 0 at this point and 9 all over 11 at this point. So what we then have at the end of the day is a situation where we've got excuse me, is a situation where we've got um, the values of x being equal to 8 all over 11 and the value of y being equals to 9 all over 11 and the value of z equals to 49 all over 11. Now, when you compare this solution with the previous solutions, you'll see that the answers are also the same. So basically, what we have done is to transform the entire augmented matrix into a row echelon form. And that we have done to get the solution to the system of linear equations.